All right, here we are, 2013. On a certain workday, the rate in tons per hour, this would be a great example of one you should try first, obviously. And then I'll see if you did it correctly. I have an equation. There I go. I'm not even thinking yet. I'm just going to put that in. So what I have before, off it goes. Again, and then just a fresh graph. And I'm going to type it in, 290 plus 45 cosine x squared over 18. So 90 plus 45 cosine x squared over 18, done. All right, now I'm going to think. So on a certain workday, the rate, this is a rate of gravel, arrives and then gets processed where it's measured in hours. At the beginning of the workday, there are 500 tons. During the hours from 0 to 8, the plant gra processes gravel at a constant rate of 100 per hour. So on a certain workday, unprocessed gravel arrives at the plant is modeled. So this is the rate that it's arriving at in hours. And then it gets processed at this rate. Okay. So find the derivative of this. I can do that. So use your calculator. So menu, menu calculus, derivative at a point. Again, it's at 5 All right, press enter, and then just F1, parentheses, X. And then, so what is it? And then we'll go like, control, enter. So it's negative 24.587. And so what would the unit be? That's in tons, tons per hour squared. Okay, it was a rate before. And then it says, using correct units, which we did, now interpret what it means. So at what time? So 5 represents at t equals 5 hours. What's happening to the rate? The rate of unprocessed gravel arriving is decreasing. Hours, tons per hour squared. But the whole point is, at five hours, because it's negative, the rate is decreasing. Part B. Find the total amount, that's an integration question, of unprocessed gravel that arrives at the plant during the hours of operation on this workday. So the hours of operation is from 0 to 8. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 8. And see what our answer is. So we're going to go menu calculus integrate from 0 to 8. F1 parentheses x. And you get 825.5. Five one, and that's just tons of gravel. See, is the amount of unprocessed gravel increasing or decreasing? Is the amount increasing or decreasing at t equals five? So just the amount would just be 
this. Not the rate, but the amount, and see what that answer is. It is 98.140, which means the amount of unprocessed gravel is increasing at five hours since G at five is positive or greater than zero. All right, last part. This will be the longer one. We can do it. So it says, what is the maximum amount? That's a table of values question. I'm going to do it on a separate piece of paper here, D. It's a table of values question. So I'm going to do a table of values. And it says from the hours of operation from 0 to 8. So I know it's going to involve that. So the amount, what is the maximum amount? So to find the amount, So first of all, how much did we start with? 500. And then I'm going to integrate to know how much is 0 to whatever that is. And that will tell me the amount. Oh, it's not A. It's, what is it? G. So we start with 500, then we integrate from 0 to whatever number, G of T, and that will tell me the amount. So at zero, when I integrate this, the answer is 500. That's how much we started with. At eight, let me just do it, and then we'll talk about make, taking the derivative equal to zero. So we have 500 plus menu calculus integral, zero to eight. And it's just F1 at X. That's uh, 1,325.551. There we go. Ah, man, I'm frustrated sometimes with this camera that just won't stay focused as I'm doing the lesson. All right, then I got to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of 500 is 0. The derivative of this is just g at t, and I need to make it equal to 0, and then solve for t between 0 and 8. So uh, menu algebra solve. I'm solving this equation, f1 at x equals 0, comma x. But it's between 0 and 8. So I'm going to go with control equals, and it's between 0, control equals, and 8. There we go. False. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 I know what I did wrong. So they said that the amount that leaves the gravel is a constant rate of 100. So let's think it. So we started with 500. This is the rate that it's being processed at. And then you have to subtract 100 from that also because the rate of it leaving is a constant 100. Then, when I take the derivative of this, the derivative of 500, the derivative integration cross out, so it says g at t equals 100. Make that equal to 0, and now solve it. So, let's go back again. Let's go minus 100. Let's see if that makes a difference. There it is. And I get 4.923. That's good. So 4.923. Now I'm going to put it back in again.
So this part here is wrong because I typed it in wrong. I need that minus 100 in there. So yeah, I'll show you. So this is wrong. So let's recorrect it. So this needs to have subtract 100 in terms of what's leaving. Then do it. And you get 525.551. So 525.551. Good. Now you can do the same thing for 4.923. At 635.376. Then the question is, what is the maximum amount? And this is the maximum amount right here. So at 4.923 hours, there is a maximum amount. of gravel, 635.36 tons. Oh, and it just asked for the maximum amount. So the maximum amount of gravel is this. That's it, Mr. G Math Over and Out. I'm proud of you working through this, trying your best. Till next time.